Okay, here's something a bit different. Now, you might recognise what's going on in the background there. This is Doom. And not like a crappy incarnation of Doom. This is proper Doom running on a Commodore 64. Um, chap called Leo Hale brought it to my attention. This is something I'd seen before a while ago, but I completely forgot about it. And he reminded me in the uh, in my YouTube discussion page. So thanks for that, Leo. Um, yeah, this is actually running on an emulated Commodore 64 with a super CPU at 20 megahertz with 60 megabytes address space. And it's loaded from a four megabyte RAM expansion unit. And so it's, it's, it's not a base Com Commodore 64 by any means, but the fact that it's using Commodore 64 hardware is outstanding, nonetheless, you know, and 20 megahertz CPU, super CPU, isn't the same standard as what I used to run it on the PC. It was running at 50, hertz, 50 megahertz on my 486. So to run at this sort of speed, I mean, the graphics are a bit cut down. We've got chunkier things everywhere. We've got an overwhelming lack of color, but who the hell cares? This is a Commodore 64. Before I go any further, while I was recording this, I completely forgot to change around with the settings. You can do that. So, for example, I, and I used to love doing this. Optimizing games to run at optimum speed on my PC was one of my favorite things to do, probably more than playing the game itself. But you can change, you can't change the sound volume, but you can change the graphic uh, quality to low, of course, and we can change the screen size. If we press the enter key hard enough, there we go. And we can bring it down to a postage stamp. So, with a smaller screen size, does it run any better? Well, yeah, it does run reasonably well. Look at that, we've got quite good frame rates, but you can't see a bloody thing. Look, I mean, what is that? It looks like I'm walking into a room of pixels. Oh, I am, but massively blocky pixels. And there is another setting as well. By uh, You can alternate between a higher color mode, like so, and you can get a lot of the original Doom colors back, but when you have a, a maximized screen, it just runs um, massively slowly. I mean, as you can see, it's slowing down even now. I'll demonstrate to you if we go back to options. Put the screen up a bit. A little bit more and put the quality to high so that you can see just what a difference it makes. There we go, look, we get a reasonable color level, but it just becomes very, very hard to play. And I wouldn't want to play through the game like this, even though it does look a lot better. I think we've got 16 colors here as opposed to four. Yeah, anyway, I'll go back to the uh, previous recording I did in leave it with you. This is running at warp mode on the WinVice emulator, so it's sped up even more than the base hardware to 300%, but once you do that, you get an almost playable incarnation of Doom. And you've got to remember, this is a massively complicated game to run on hardware like this, so it's going to require a lot of bootstrapping and piggybacking and all sorts. But here we are. This is pretty incredible. I think one of the reasons I overlooked this the first time was because I like to have things which are pure and running on the original hardware. Otherwise, you, you could just bolt anything on and say, oh, look, it's running on a Commodore 64, which this is getting towards, but not quite. I think, you know, it, it's, it needs a few modifications, sure, but it's just nice to play this on hardware which was designed in 1982 to run very blocky games and now it's running Doom. I mean you couldn't play it for long like this but you could get through the entire game, you can work out what's going on. There's no sound, there's a chappy, there's a zombie, hello mate, it's a, you know, yeah there we go. We've got the animations on the Doom guy face, it's, look at this, this is like looking out down the street without any glasses on. I can't see anything. I can see an imp. There you go, he's down. Let's go, let's just, just move across here. 
with haste, dear fellow. Uh, it speeds up when you get to areas of low rendering, as you'd expect, as it does on PCs. If you've ever played this on a 386, this is a similar experience. Did I, did I miss the armor? My god. Let's try that again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just fun to play around with hardware like this. There's no chance this could run on a base Commodore 64. There is a a game called Mood, I think, for the Commodore 64, which is a Doom clone which runs on base hardware, which is quite impressive in itself. Oh, it's, it's just, this is Doom. Doom, baby. Oh, yeah. Love a bit of Doom. All right, let's just, yeah, we got it, we got it. So there we go, hangar finished. Kills, can't really see. Items, secret, yeah, don't really care, to be honest. You are here. I suspect this level will be increasingly slowed down because we have a much bigger view field. It's getting a bit chunky to walk around in. It's like walking in thick vegetable soup with razor blades in, but we've got the shotgun. We are moving down. Let's see if I can um, go outside. That'd be nice, hello mate. Take some of that to your face. Lovely job. Let's open the secret door. If I can do it. Oi, what are you doing? Just lay off, alright? Just looking around. Jesus Christ. They're a bit aggressive, aren't they? Absolutely no need. Did I even press that switch? I don't know. Yep, it looks triggered. We've got some sort of a light going on in there. Um, I will put instructions on how to download and play this game below. Because you need to run Winvice with the Super CPU patched onto it, of course. Otherwise, the Commodore 64 just goes, oh no, and crashes. I've tried it, trust me. I don't know why I tried it, but I did try it. Let's go get the minigun. Cruising around. It's quite quick outside. I suppose it hasn't really got much to render. That is essentially just a ceiling, isn't it? It's not actually a massive landscape, as my mind was thinking. But it has to render in the background. <laughs> That's not how Doom works. It's not a true 3D engine. It is a two-dimensional engine. Kind of, I believe. Alright, let's go up here. Die! That keycard is not red these days. But we don't care about things like that. What we do care about is killing zombie bastards. Oh yeah! It's a shame there's no sound. I would love to hear a Sid rendition of the Doom music. I'm sure it's been done, but I would like to hear it in-game. But then, it might slow things down a little bit further. Not much, because the Sid does take most of the grunt of the work. There's not much imposed on the CPU, I believe. Who's in? I think I could complete the game like this. I think I could do it. I don't seem to have taken many hits. I obviously haven't put it on a hard difficulty level. Let's just skip this bit. Let's just try and get over here. Yep, hello. Just coming through. Do not mind me. Except for the minigun in your face. You might want to mind that. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, atmospheric. In a way, it's kind of... It's a bit more atmospheric, isn't it? I'm not sure in a good way, but it's definitely atmospheric to an extent. Like you've just gone through a radioactive leak. All right, let's go down the corridor. Once I complete this level, I think I will call it a day. Die, bastard. And you, come on, come on, down you go. Yep, nice, thank you very much. And let's get out of here. So yeah, there we go. It's from a site called uh, scpu.amidog.se. It doesn't give any details on who created this, but he does say it's more or less a direct build of the original ID software source code release with a hacked together tiny clip of the string, memory, math, etc. functions it required. While this Doom port isn't meant to be taken seriously, it has proven quite useful for testing and improving the MIPS recompiler, as Doom is a rather complex and large application. And there's a couple of other things this guy, lady, could be a lady, has done on this site. 
around the Super CPU. I think I'm going to spend a bit more time getting familiar with the Commodore 64 Super CPU. It seems like something worthwhile and something substantial. Anyway, thank you for watching this jerky, if amazingly fantastical version of Doom. And it's incredible what people can do. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Look at you, son of a bitch. Oh, where's the pink demons?